beeswax is like gold in the beekeeping industry. It takes bees tremendous amounts of energy to produce beeswax. They have to collect nectar. They have to convert it to honey. They have to consume that honey. And honey's full of sugar, and they convert those sugars to wax that they secrete off their abdomens. It is incredibly expensive energetically. So when bees produce wax, it's like gold to us. We should take care of it. We should make sure that we protect it as much as possible. Bees naturally want to produce wax when there's lots of nectar available in the environment. When flowers are cranking out the nectar during that major nectar flow, you know, for most people in temperate climates, that's March-ish to early June-ish. When all of that nectar is coming in, it's natural for bees to want to build comb. So as long as you've got incoming nectar, you can give bees frames of foundation and the bees should be able to secrete the wax that they need to produce the comb on that foundation. But there are times of the year where we might actually want to produce beeswax or have bees pull combs outside of the major nectar season. And in that case, it can be sometimes like pulling teeth to get them to do what you want them to do. So you've got to remember a few key things. Key thing number one, it takes energy to make wax. If you expect bees to pull comb outside of production season, you're going to have to feed them carbohydrates. So you put on a box that might be just frames of foundation in April, the bees are likely going to pull that comb on their own. You put on a box of foundation in July, you are going to have to provide some sort of energy source for them to be able to do that. So feeding bees sugar water or feeding bees sugar syrup, you know, or corn syrup, whatever's available at your local bee supply company, all, both of these things are sufficient for bees to be able to use to pull comb. Now there are some times of year, late fall, winter, as an example, bees just don't want to do it. So really you have to keep strong colonies, you have to provide adequate carbohydrate resources, and sometimes, sometimes it helps to not give them a choice. For example, I've seen people um, have a, a deep brood box, a medium super that's foundation that they really want the bees to pull, and then a super that's already pulled full of honey. And, and they put that foundation super between the super of honey and between the brood box and hope that bees will just pay attention to it and get there. And the bees walk right through that super of foundation to work that uppermost box. Sometimes the best strategy to get them to pull that centermost box, the one that's just foundation, is to give them no other option. Remove that uppermost super. Force them into that frame, uh, that box that's nothing but foundation. Feed them a carbohydrate resource so that if they want to keep it, they have to build the infrastructure to store it. So they'll go into those supers and work those frames of foundation. Again, Letting bees pull comb in the production season is really easy. They just do it naturally. It takes a lot of incoming resources, but they're able to do it. Getting bees to produce comb outside of production season, you've got to take advantage of strong colonies, giving them no other option, and providing them the sugar resources they need to be able to secrete the wax necessary to draw that comb.